Well, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to T and Me TV. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, today, we thought we'd take you on a little tour of Madison, Tennessee, which is a direct connected suburb of Nashville, one of the older suburbs in Nashville, and take you on a little tour of uh, where some of the old stars, country music stars of the 60s live. Uh, Colonel Tom Parker's office is on this road, in Gallatin Road. We're actually starting out at um, McHenry Center. It's one of the older shopping centers in Madison. And uh, I just noticed that we have a new Burlington factory outlet here in this mall. They've refurbished it and it's nice. So we'll show you. We're gonna head down Gallatin Road, which like I said is a direct connection suburb to Nashville. It's all within very few miles. So we'll head out onto the main drag here called Gallatin Road or Gallatin Pike. And uh, so hang with us. Hope you enjoy the ride. said we're going to show you some suburb the suburb of Madison which is a direct connected suburb of Nashville just you know a mile or two and you're in Nashville we just came off old Hickory we're gonna go by 60s 1960s country music star Hank Snow had a lot of hits uh, moving on uh, which was been a lot of television commercials anyway his house was called the Rainbow Ranch and we're approaching his place um, really soon. We've never seen the place before. We've heard about it. Um, we're really close. And I believe this is it. It's on the ride, isn't it? Uh, and it, they've since turned it into a bed and breakfast. You can actually spend the night and, oh, here it is. Hank right Snow's there. Rainbow Ranch. That yes. was Hank Snow's house. Right there. Wow. Very modest for a country star of the 60s. My goodness. It looks like it could use a little renovation a little more. Mm -hmm. And actually... Um, it's like they poured a... I don't know how many... No, that's not many. Let's see. Um, Back up and see if we can get a shot down the driveway. There's his bus. There's his old bus. Oh my goodness. The Rainbow Ranch. That's what they call the Rainbow Ranch. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Wow. See if you can satellite perspective. And I would assume someone still lives there. See the big gates? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very modest. So you uh, said it's a bed and breakfast? It's a bed and breakfast. You can spend the night there and it, everything is intact inside uh -huh. as it was. Let me just turn it over here. Uh, yeah, everything is still intact as it was when Hank lived there. There are other vloggers that have done some uh, vlogs on it. Jordan the Lion, I think, did one on it. and. Uh, but it's really interesting. Elvis Elvis had, had spent some time there with Hank, you know, visiting Hank Snow. And uh, there's pictures of Elvis and Hank in the, in the house. Oh, with Elvis playing the piano in his house, right? Yes. And, uh, and the piano's still there. The piano's still there. And uh, it's pretty interesting if you're a country music buff. We're going to turn around here and hope we don't drive off into this ditch. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, it's an interesting thing. And, and one of these times, I'd actually like to see if we could do a little tour of the inside. It's, I've seen inside it, and it, it's wood pine paneling. And there's a, a couple secret passages that go to the basement that, uh, in case, I don't know, I guess Hank was paranoid, maybe. 
yeah, Hank Snow, um, he had out uh, some pretty big hits in the 60s. It used was, to uh, be a pretty big deal, right? Yeah, it was a big deal. <laughs> and he was a Grand Ole Opry star. Yeah. And he was still alive and performing at the Grand Ole Opry when I started there back in the 80s. Yeah. And uh, very nice man. Very uh, astute. And, uh, but, you know, really nice fellow. And so now, um, and by the way, this house is located right off the main drag in uh, Madison, Tennessee, which, like I said... Which is Old Hickory Boulevard. Old Hickory Boulevard, which is just right off of Gallatin Road, which is the main connection to Nashville. It's the main artery going through. It's the Madison Christian Church, I yeah. guess. And I think we're about to pass Kitty Wells' house, the queen of country music, uh, Kitty Wells. Um didn't know God made honky tonk angels and you know making believe or some of the song titles she was one of the biggest female country stars of all time through the 50s and 60s and let's see is where it is it? I don't think that's it uh, hmm. that may have been it let's see. I, I think you know this is it right here I believe this, okay. is. this place right here and we're going to slow down a little bit Beautiful old place. Beautiful. Yes. That's yeah. It. That was Kitty Wells. And it's it's amazing to me how modest but of course back in the day in this this little uh, neighborhood of Madison, it was the place to be. I mean this were all a, a a bunch of country music stars lived here and and uh, you know this was all new back in the fifties and sixties. You would think living here since the 80s and actually working out of Nashville since the 70s when I was a teenager, I would know more about the city. But, you know, we figured that we'll take you along with our exploring and, and our learning a little bit about the country music history and history of the town. I mean, I've been so busy in the last 40 years making a living and Teresa is the same. We've been so busy making a living and raising children, we didn't really have time to explore or navigate to the different areas of town unless we were working, and then that didn't really allow any time to explore or uh, study Nashville's history. But we're doing that now, and we're taking you along with us here on T and Me TV. So now, Old Hickory Boulevard runs, um, I guess, east and west, and Gallatin Road runs north and south. You can take Gallatin Road from our little town of Hendersonville all the way to the other side of Nashville. Gallatin Road is a main artery, and uh, the most popular parts of Gallatin Road are actually where we are now. Um, in Madison, which like I said is a direct just a mile or two from downtown Nashville. And actually, I think uh, we may be coming up on Colonel Tom Parker's office where Elvis had spent a lot of hours and Colonel Tom Parker, uh, as everybody knows, was Elvis's manager. He was based here out of Nashville, and uh, we may have passed it, I'm not sure. I know they were going to tear, tear the building down, and it was just a little small house, and that's the way it was back in the 60s. People ran recording studios and offices out of houses, and a lot of times they lived in the house where they worked. I don't know if that was the case with Colonel Tom Parker, but I do know a lot of the recording studios around here were in houses that they had uh, were built in the 30s and 40s and they would turn them into recording studios. But this is the area where Colonel Tom Parker lived and operated from here in Madison, Tennessee. And I think at one time Colonel Tom Parker actually helped manage Hank Snow. He had a partner and uh, 
So they would, I think Hank Snow and Elvis maybe even did some package shows together at one time, back in like maybe 50s, before Elvis got his movie contract. Um, it's just a lot of interesting little stuff that we, we should probably do more research to, to show you, but uh, you know, it's an interesting little drive, and uh, As you can see, you, you can tell by looking through the video that this is an older section of Nashville. Not the oldest, but one of the oldest. And Colonel Tom Parker's place was on this road in this vicinity. I'm assuming it is gone now. I was told that they were tearing it down a few months ago, and I guess they, they have since then torn it down. But it was along this stretch of road right here. And there are people have done videos on that place before it was torn down. That was pretty amazing, you know, interesting. And this is the cemetery right here where a lot of yeah, famous and, and people are. Yeah, and we're gonna pull in here. Uh, not to be morbid, yeah. on the right is the uh, military cemetery, you know, the um, Veterans, Veterans yeah. National Military Cemetery, and here on the left is Spring Hill. I have a lot of friends buried in here. <laughs> oh, dear. That's sad. I know. <laughs> but it's a beautiful place. Um, oh, there's Mr. Acuff, Roy Acuff, the king of country music. Right there in front of us. Oh, I see it. Yeah, right there. How about that? Right there. Wow, we. How about that? That's amazing. Golly, his his. Uh, it's beautiful. Looks so old, and it hadn't been that long. Well, it's I mean, probably been twenty some years. I guess it just needs cleaning. Yeah, Roy Acuff, King well, Country Music. Out here. Wow, man, that is, that's so, so special. We both worked with him. Yeah. Special. He was very special. Jimmy Martin. Look here. Look here. I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is Jimmy Martin, famous bluegrass. He's a legend. He started out with Bill Monroe. That's his. Wow. Mm -hmm. How about that? Very interesting. And his wife, Marion Garrison. I knew Jimmy Martin. There's so many things. We're just going to take a little drive through and see if we know him yeah. something. There's so many things. Cemetery. The cemetery has been here since when? Here since when? Here since here since here 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 1785. 1785. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. That's crazy. Keep rolling. Let's cruise a little bit. Um, um, you know, like you're saying, like we're saying, there, there are a lot of, a lot of famous, famous Maddox, uh, Maddox, uh, Maddox is a famous, Maddox country, is a famous country, country music name, music name. Um, I mean, we I mean, don't have a. We don't have a. And I don't know if there is such a thing as a. A thing as a. A plot. A plot. You know, to. You know, to. Like a plot map. Like a plot for map. Very, 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 very aware. I don't do that kind of thing. They do. They do. This is. This is. This is. This is. Wow. Wow.
that it is. Pretty much the <clears throat> pretty much the father of the five string father banjo. of the five string banjo. Incredible, incredible. It, it, he changed the way banjo was played, and that's the way it's played, and that's the way it's played. My goodness, my goodness! Wow, 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 wow! So I'll get a little. So I'll get a little. And you can pause. And you can pause the video to see. It's amazing. And I actually got to play with Earl's brother. And Louise, his wife was a real sweet lady. Very protective. I want to say that, uh, you know, this is a beautiful place. And I'm, I'm glad that they're laid to rest in such a beautiful place. It's, uh, anyway, to see Earl Scruggs' resting place is pretty amazing. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, here we go back into the the old truck. Here you go, ma'am. So you started to tell the story about I had asked about um, Roy Cuff coming over to eat with you guys on your break at the National Network when you were filming something. Yeah. Uh he told me to go get a stagehand inside and um, to get him to, because he always cooked the beans for Mr. Roy. And he went and told him, he said, tomorrow I want some beans and hush puppies. And so the next day, uh, Charles, who was the stagehand, uh -huh. brought all his uh, cooking stuff. And he had a big old pot of beans uh, cooking and a making hush puppies out on the the patio I remember as you go patio. into the studio. I remember it well. And then here came Mr. Roy scooting across the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, he was always really yeah. nice. Uh, he lived right there between the the Gaslight Studio where we did Nashville now yeah, his and house, the Opry House. Yeah, his house is actually still there and uh, on the Grand Ole Opry property. Yeah. So, 
that's a little bit of tour of the Spring Hill Cemetery where some famous country music stars are. And another thing about Roy Cuff uh, and Vince Gill um, has followed in the tradition of Roy Cuff and as to the dressing room, number one in the hall, the backstage at the Opry, there's several dressing rooms, probably 12, 14, 16 of them, I don't know. But number one dressing room is right off the exit of the stage and Mr. Roy never closed his dressing room door. He invited everybody in, you know, passerbys, tourists, whatever, were welcome to come in and visit with him. And Vince Gill has followed in that tradition. Vince Gill is the same way. He never closes his dressing room door. He, uh, he invites anybody that comes in to... Who has that dressing room now? It's it's not just designated to anyone. Okay, that's good. But uh, Porter had the one on the opposite end. On the very opposite side uh -huh. of the building was Porter's. And uh, uh, is that Kitty Wells and Johnny Wright? Yes, that's it Johnny sure Wright. Is. Here you go. Country music she had out making believe. Mm hmm. It wasn't God who made honky talk angels. Yes. And that was an answer to. It wasn't God who made honky talk uh, angels. Right. Uh, and that was an answer uh, to. Uh, you're right. Uh, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful head marker. And she wrote yeah. that in rebuttal to his uh, song. What a beautiful head marker. So, and she wrote that was, in rebuttal to his song. Yeah. So, Kitty was married to Johnny Wright. And their last name was Wright. Yeah, he, she, Kitty was married to Johnny Wright. And their last name was Wright. Right, yeah. He, she, Kitty was married to Johnny Wright. And interesting enough, uh, a friend of mine, George Edwards, who you knew, and interesting mm -hmm. enough, uh, a friend of mine, George Edwards, who you knew, played in their band through the years. Mm -hmm. And they uh, had a lot of friends up. that played in their band up until the, the time she passed i guess and they traveled up you know they never quit up until the time she passed i guess they just you know they never quit mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. that was just a little impromptu historical drive through nashville and some of the famous grave sites of some of the stars of the 60s we hope you enjoyed the video and uh like I said, it was impromptu, and we're gonna do some more and do a little more research and, and make them better for you guys because you guys seem to be interested in this stuff. And, uh, but we enjoyed doing it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Uh, um, so, and it was interesting to us. I mean, it's new to us too, to, to look at these places because we've never done this in all the years we've lived here. We've never really, a lot of these people were friends of ours. So anyway, that, yeah. that made it a little special to us. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching the video and we really appreciate our subscribers and all the new subscribers. The channel is doing well thanks to everyone. Thank you so much. And if you would, hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Subscribing's free. And uh, the notification bell. The appreciate notification that. bell. That's right, baby. So you that's know right. uh, when we put up videos. That's right. Thank you for watching. Thank we you for watching, everybody. You along with us. We'll see you next video. Bye.